he was on set filming and there was one stuntman in particular who was giving him a really hard time and he kept calling him a paper tiger which meant um, you don't you're not really a martial artist you're just faking it you're just making it look like you're able to do martial arts but you're not really a martial artist and he was goading my father and goading him and goading him and my father kept ignoring him um, until uh, he started to get a bunch of the other stuntmen involved and so there was then a whole bunch of people who were constantly telling, calling him a paper tiger and harassing him on set and so finally my father said um, fine <laughs> let's go <laughs> and he, he said you want to challenge me you want to see if I am re can really do martial arts or not then, then let's see if you, if, what you got and they squared off and I mean he had him down on the ground within it was one or two moves. I mean, it was not even, it was seconds, if uh, you know, and not very many. Um, and he had him down, and, he, and uh, he stood him back up, and he took him down again. And the guy basically said, okay, we believe you. And it was quite a turning point, because at that moment, he really won the appreciation and respect of the entire stunt team. It wasn't just this one guy, but this guy was the, the sort of ringleader. And so, you know, he was constantly being challenged, and I guess it's, a, it's sort of a, a point of debate these days, although those of us who know, know there is no debate, as to whether he was just a martial artist for film or whether he was really a martial artist. And he really was. It was really his love far and beyond making films. My father's story is a very East-West story um, from beginning to end, you know, I mean, 